Twitter plans to hire 100 trust and safety uh, staff ahead of a congressional hearing. I wonder if they'll hire back anybody they fired. How are they hiring people? Don't they like they don't even pay rent? How is it that like Elon Musk can make those kind of implications and not be sued for like defamation? Um, in in the U.S., um, it's actually it looks like TikTok is uh, might be coming for YouTube. There was a moment I think when Facebook could have done it, but they implemented it so poorly and lied to everybody about their views, <laughs> and then didn't pay anybody any ad revenue. So that didn't work so well. It only limits my ability some to start posting because as soon as they let me do that, oh, you better bet. And if I think if they do those two things, this could work out really well. Yeah, they're certainly in a good position to take on YouTube. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. Hey, how the tech are you? My name is Producer Dave. I'm, as my name would imply, the producer of this and other shows here at Echoplex Media. And check out our uh, website, echoplexmedia.com, for uh, more information, I guess, on me and other people. Uh, my first story is Twitter plans to hire 100 trust and safety uh, staff ahead of a congressional hearing. I wonder if they'll hire back anybody they fired. There's a congressional hearing this week that will focus on how companies like X, Meta, TikTok, and others are, pr- are protecting kids online. Uh, Ex-CEO Linda Yaccarino has been meeting this last week with bipartisan members of the Senate. Uh, that can't be good. Uh, Twitter has long had problems with uh, child exploitation content, uh, but there's a concern it got worse uh, when uh, apartheid Clyde came in and fired well, you know, most of the trust and safety people. And then uh, shortly after taking over, uh, Musk actually claimed this was all job one. But it seemed more that he was like uh, sort of signaling to the QAnon people that he was their guy than anything else. What do you think is going to happen here, HK? Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I doubt that Twitter is going to get any better. Uh, even if they do hire, you know, trust and safety staff, they're going to be under the control of Elon Musk. That dude is a fucking lunatic. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what are they going to be trained to do? Is the going to be the question? Like, and if it's, if they're hiring them specifically to deal with things like, uh, uh CSAM and, um, you know, um, child exploitation online. I mean, I guess that's good, but the, the thing that, the thing that's going to happen is I think the QAnon loons are going to think that the storm is coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that this is the timing on all this is like real bad. And if they're going to insist that it's just for this, I think it's going to work out uh, pretty well uh, for Elon. First of all, he'll be able to placate Congress, maybe, but also he'll just be able to signal that he's going to save the tunnel children or or whatever. And there are no tunnel children, but that's 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 irrelevant. I mean, there's kids in tunnels somewhere, kid exploring the sewer system somewhere, I suppose. But that's not what they're talking about. (laughs) Yeah. Elon's submarine isn't going to help those kids. No, no, no. And what's to say they don't? just not hire these people and tell congress that they are right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah what if they just don't also do it? how are they how are they hiring people don't they like they don't even pay rent i think they started i think they i think they paid the, i think they started paying rent okay <laughs> mind you if i don't pay my rent for an extended period of time i don't get to just be like oops sorry everybody gets a mulligan and start paying it again but <laughs> <laughs> yep. they're not uh Interestingly enough, they're not going to be hiring these people uh, in San Francisco. This is going to be in one of their Texas locations. So I don't think they're going to be hiring any of those people back that they fired before. Certainly not Yoel. Elon Musk called him a a PDF file, which was terrifying for him and his husband. Yeah, Mm. I think this is just like they're just trying to like they're just trying to be like, well, I guess they're going to call us. We have to be able to say something like, let's try this. But then those people are going to be like on there looking for like, they're going to be on there like, okay, what you need to do is find random acts of journalism and kick those people off. <laughs> yep. How is it that like Elon Musk can make those kind of implications and not be sued for like defamation? Um, in, in the U.S., um, it's actually pretty hard. Uh, defamation, libel, and slander laws here are... Uh, they run up against the First Amendment in a lot of ways. You have to, uh, the standards, I know this, if, if you could imagine, I'm intimately familiar with uh, this based, you know, for um, reasons other than the How the Tech Are You show. Uh, <laughs> you have to know that what you're saying is untrue. And that's kind of hard to prove, right? That somebody knows that what they're saying isn't true. You, the, the injured party has to show like real damages, right? Like not like, oh, it, it hurt my feelings. And then it has to be proven that you did this with malicious intent. And if you can't mm-hmm. meet any of those three standards, you can't, you know, you can't be sued. It's good for me because I talk, you know, I say I, I make a lot of uh, character assessments on a show that you're uh, the co-host <laughs> on, right? <laughs> we, we make a few yeah. character assessments here and there, and we probably, we probably probably occasionally get the facts wrong. Try not to. 
try to yeah. try to reel myself and you back when we start going a little little too far off into, into the woods there but that's why but i was I've, the one time you mentioned the submarine i was real surprised that guy didn't get paid and i don't want to i don't want to rehash that but um you know um that's on my that's on my list for uh video essays actually is that that story because i think a lot of people don't know that and i don't see any good video essays on it but yeah because that that particular case to me certainly appeared like defamation yeah yeah i mean i think that I think it was the first one where they, where he just claimed that he thought the guy was, and I think that's how he got away with it. But I, I haven't looked that deeply into it in a while. But what I will say about this is that there's a 50, 50 chance that they even hire anybody. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, Oh um, no, the trust and safety team there. Wouldn't you know it? They're at the hipster coffee shop down the street right now. <laughs> <laughs> That joke's a bit of a deep cut for anybody uh, watching or listening, by the way. Maybe Matt will cut it out. I don't know. Maybe Matt will cut this whole part out. <laughs> don't worry. We have the podcast. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move on to my next story here. We got it. It looks like TikTok is, uh, might be coming for YouTube. So what's going on here? And I've been watching my TikTok for this. Some creators are being incentivized to publish widescreen videos with longer run times. Uh, they're testing run times of up to 30 minutes for some users. And uh, this would be available. This is available to anyone whose account is more than three uh, months old, but they're rolling it out. Uh, to I don't know by what metric, like how they're deciding who to roll this out to. Uh, the only condition really is that these videos can't be advertisements and specifically can't be like by a political candidate or like for a political cause. And that, that gets a little murky. But but uh, when we're eligible for this, um, we'll be go ahead and trying to put up uh, segments of this episode, uh, the episodes of How the Tech Are You on there to see how that goes. What do you think, HK? Uh, I think it would be good for YouTube to have competition. Right now, there's not really any competition to YouTube. Uh, TikTok is the closest thing, but TikTok is just like a different kind of platform. So, you know, now that they're going to be trying to attract the same kind of content that YouTube publishes, you know, that's good. Yeah. And um, what would need to happen, I think, they need to improve their desktop experience for like a viewer for this because their desktop mm -hmm. uh, to upload and stuff, it's not too bad. But for, as a viewer, the desktop experience is quite bad. Um, as a person who runs clips on many of my shows, I would know. Um, <laughs> and then they would a uh, smart TV app. You need a smart TV app. And then the smart TV app would have to not be showing you vertical video like you'd have to go looking for like to watch the vertical video or whatever. You'd have to be searching it out specifically. And if I think if they do those two things, this could work out really well. Yeah, they're certainly in a good position to take on YouTube. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. Yeah. And unlike uh, Odyssey, Rumble and BitChute, maybe you would recommend that your friends look at this. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we uh, we use all of them, but I'm <clears throat> I don't. I don't use those services because I like them. I use those services uh, for two reasons. One, I want to make sure that if somebody were to impersonate us on there, if we ever get that kind of famous, that they can't. And that's initially why we signed up for a TikTok too. And I even filled out the verification stuff, although we don't have the kind of audience yet. And the other reason is if there's any way in which we can get into the algorithms on those other things through happenstance and have people see an opposing view that might be good but tiktok actually does you know people are like oh ban tiktok ban tiktok they do a, i think they do a pretty good job of content moderation you can't find a lot of pilled stuff you i mean it doesn't always get removed but they're not showing you a whole bunch of pilled stuff like if you go watch you know how we talk about like youtube you go watch a neil degrasse tyson video and you just let it keep playing videos and three videos later you got some you got some guy claiming to be a science communicator telling you about the fucking great replacement <clears throat> yep. tiktok doesn't do that it you you that stuff may be on there, um, but like it seems like you have to seek it out. Like I even tried to look for chemtrail stuff on there, and I had a hard time finding it. But I think that you know they're under a specific kind of pressure because it's ByteDance, and ByteDance is a uh, you know a Chinese company, and they they have to be. I think they have to do a better job so that they can just be like, look, our hands are clean here. I think you're right about the competition. I think that there was a moment maybe where Snapchat could have done this, but that moment passed. There was a moment, I think, when Facebook could have done it, but they implemented it so poorly and lied to everybody about their views <laughs> and then didn't pay anybody any ad revenue. So that didn't work so well. <clears throat> yep. And there's never been a moment that Twitter could have done this. Uh, no, no. <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to do it now, but their player's pretty bad and it's it doesn't work. You know, there was there was some hope for things like PeerTube or the library system, but like those never caught on. And I think the primary reason PeerTube didn't never caught on is any kind of good performance on there, you have to have your own server. 
<laughs> if you want your videos to play yeah. back well, you have to have your own server. And um, like library Hosting, never caught on. Yeah. Well, library is Odyssey. Yeah. Well, Odyssey is like library became Odyssey or I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, that I, that I don't know. Um, if that was an actual library, I would tell everyone not to go there because half of the books are just the <laughs> protocols of the elders of Zion. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, hosting video is very expensive because like every for every video you see the the hosting provider generally not always but generally is hosting multiple copies of that video transcoded into different resolutions so that they can serve the a working video to someone no matter what kind of internet connection they have. If someone has like a gigabit internet connection, they're going to get like the HD stream, the either 4K or 1080 stream. We but if someone's source. on like a, like a 4K connection on their phone out in the middle of nowhere and they're not doing too well, they might get like even like a 180p right. stream. Yeah, the, the connection. 160p. The one you're talking Whatever about is, is uh, we call it, the big one is source. It's just what was sent. It's the actual yeah. file that was sent with no transcoding. That's what you get on the, yep. the, the big boy connection or whatever. Limiting to 30 minutes at first is probably a good idea, even though like that limits my ability, but it, it, at, it only limits my ability some to start posting. Because as soon as they let me do that, oh, you better bet. Because you know, like why, mm -hmm. when they roll it out, they're going to be boosting that stuff, right? They're absolutely yep. going to be boosting that kind of content and so like you better bet as soon as they let me do that i'm going through just i'm just going through the archives and i'm just going to sort by video size and everything that's under 30 minutes i'm just going to barf out onto tiktok right <laughs> <laughs> well good tiktok's already pretty fun i i like tiktok um it it serves us well because when people pull clips on twitch of us um they're short and then Twitch has this little tool actually inside of Twitch that vert helps you verticalize it and it puts your logo on it and everything. Mm. And so mm. you know, we sometimes do okay on there sometimes. And um, yeah, I, I think that competition is good. And I'm not one of these people who's af afraid of the Chinese. Yeah. If I was afraid of the Chinese, I guess I would just have to tear this studio down. Like there's not really, I mean, especially my pre my last story in, in my segment, there's not yeah. really any reason to be more afraid of China than there is of the U S government. Right, just basically everyone's <laughs> spying on you. So, like, just be as uninteresting as possible. <laughs> uh, ride your bike around in an erratic way like like a drug dealer would and see what happens. <laughs> I think this is good. I, I wish, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad it's not meta. I'm glad that, like, because the other company yep. I think that could maybe pull this off. And I know it's a meta company, but I think Instagram would be able to pull this off, too. But they're not. They're yeah, not I, honestly, I'm surprised Instagram hasn't done something like this. I mean, you can post up to an hour on Instagram now, but there's like the 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 thing that that would need would be like a a, a TV app and a better desktop experience. Again, because I mean, a lot of people watch YouTube on their phone. I think most people either watch it on most people probably watch it on a computer. I think most people watch it on their phone, but uh, yeah, there's a huge portion that watches it on either their TV or their desktop. Yeah, or laptop. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I don't even know if there's a, I don't think there's a TikTok app, a talk app for my TV, but that would be like, like I said, if they do this and they don't improve the desktop experience and give you like a widescreen experience on the television that is like optimized for the TV, this is going to fail. Yeah. And I think also the, the content, uh, like suggestion algorithm, I guess, uh, how, where TikTok, you don't really choose what you're going to watch. You just keep scrolling until yeah. you find something that you like. Uh, I think that probably has to change to where like YouTube, you're, you're given more of like, here's a big grid of suggestions. Pick one. It would be neat though, if they had a random, right. Where you could just pick random <laughs> because that's how TikTok yeah. kind of already, it's not random, but what I mean is like, I don't like it. You can click, I don't like any of these. Just show me. So you can click the, just show me something button. Yeah. <laughs> and it's sort of like, it would be like, sort of like, Oh, I'd call it channel surfing. <laughs> Then my dad would use TikTok. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. If, if as soon as it rolls out, we'll we'll make sure to put uh, how the tech are you on the Echoplex Media one on there, and I'll be like I'll be I'll be like all in on this, especially if they go up to an hour. They go up to an hour. None of I mean, YouTube started out as what ten minutes, right? And yep. then they went up to two hours, and then they went up to like ten hours, right? And now aren't they like essentially unlimited? Uh, essentially unlimited, but I would, you know, even on like a really good connection, if you were trying to upload a fourteen week long video, you'd have a bad time. <laughs> Yeah, but I've seen like videos that were like 24 hours long and it's like, that's just insane. There's a 24 hour, um, a glow stick cat video. It's just <laughs> this horrible, horrible, horrible techno music with a cat glow sticking for 24 hours. <laughs>
and then there's channels that are just always live like i i uh bring up like the the lo-fi study girl channel mm-hmm. right in code so i'll have that plan on the tv you don't bring up scientology tv they're always live <laughs> Yeah. You might might catch the show about the boat. I like the show about the boat and the one about the printing press. Yeah, that, that's good stuff. Maybe those will be on TikTok. Maybe I can pirate <laughs> those and put those on TikTok and, and gain some gain some followers or worship a space alien. Thank you for watching. How the tech are you? We do the show every week, and normally we have a mat here with us, but this was a matless week. Uh, if you want to check out our other shows, you can do that at echoplexmedia.com. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll have a video up here on the screen for you to click on next. Have a great tech and week.